emergency printers that were provided to us, and basically, um, it's it's a table that moves with a head that moves in the opposite direction, and it just layers the plastic on the plate, basically. And that's the process that it uses to build these objects. You just you have to make everything out of basic shapes. Um, you can add circles that are either drawn or an actual cylinder. Basically what I did was I drew a circle, I extruded it to make it just a very little bit thick. Um, I added a cylinder on top of it, and then I had another cylinder on top of that, I dropped it inside of it. One, or the second cylinder was just a little bit smaller, I dropped it inside of it, and then I had, you have the opportunity, or not the opportunity, the option to um, subtract items, so you basically pick what you want to keep, then pick what you want to delete, and then it just empty hollows it out. And you can see it's completely hollow and then minus the bottom. Sure, yeah, we're getting some creative ideas and thoughts coming out from um, all around our ship, actually. Uh, um, one of our, our ordinance men came up and said, hey, we have we have two desks that are kind of welded down to the ship's floor, so we have this this, this angle right here that we need. We have two walk standing desks right there. We can't. We don't have that much room, so we need to get our monitor up in that angle that you really can't buy anywhere because it's just, you know, a um, unique shape. So what we're gonna do right now is our guys are actually drawing up the actual specs and um, they're gonna create them an actual kind of floating stand so they can get the monitors up and they can get them out of the way so they have more room to do their job. Um, it's just one of those kind of unique things that aren't in any kind of office. It's ship life. So it's one of those practical uses that we can use to help their lives better, comfort, and to make their job a lot easier.